I'm now signing with Eddie Earn. Uh, Eddie Earn's just starting to build a stable. I think his first signing might have been Darren Barker or Kelbrook. They've signed with him. Uh, I've now left my promotional outfit. It was with Frank Warren. We were in court, in and out of court. I ended up beating him in court and I'm free from him. I left him. Do you try to fuck you over? Uh, you could say that. Look through the, door, the, yeah. the court documents and you'll soon yeah. see. Uh, look through the court, I say the court transcripts and uh, the papers. I have all the paperwork still to this day. All the old emails I've kept. So, you know, I've, I've got it, everything, all the proof of everything there. So, yes, uh, I left him which very few boxers get to leave someone like Frank Warren and come out the other side uh, smelling the roses, which I done, which was a very, very stressful time. People will never know the amount of stress I went through at that time of my career. A man who's worth an awful lot of money is trying to sue me and take my career away. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'd have lost in court to him, I would have never fought again. I'd just retired. Scary rather, that for huh? Rather than fight for him. Mm -hmm. He was trying to take my career away. Is that try to break you because they've got the powers of yeah. they call all the shots? Oh, mate, mentality. it was horrible. It was hot. It was so mm. stressful. The time. And I was fight. I remember being in the dressing room to fight a guy called Edison Miranda, who was a who was a dangerous puncher at this stage. And Edison Miranda's he's he's on the second half of his career now. He, he's he's looked at as an opponent and not the challenger anymore. But it's a dangerous place to be in because he just lost a point decision loss to someone called Isaac Chalemba, and. Eddie said, I want you to fight him. And I was like, fucking hell, why do I need to fight him? He's dangerous, can punch. He said, it's good TV. And I thought, all right, I'll do it. Boxed really cautiously. 20 minutes before I had to walk to the ring to fight Edison Miranda, the British Boxing Board of Control came into my dressing room, wouldn't wait till after the fight, came in my dressing room 20 minutes before I walked to the ring. I had to take my glove off. And he said, if you don't give us a check signed now for £10,000, for the for the for £10,000, you're not going to be able to go and get in the ring and fight. And I said, you're saying this to me right now? And they were like, you've got to do it. Frank's told us to come in and get his percentage for the management fees for this fight. And I was like, fucking hell, this is just disgusting. And that's the pressure the boxing world put me under. Mm -hmm. uh, don't get me wrong, it's because of the pressure that Frank Warner was putting them under. But it was disgusting, mate, when I look at. Do you think a lot of other boxers' careers get cut short because they're oh, without doubt, the manipulated, politics of the game, yeah, yes. the bullshit being behind manipulated. the scenes. And how he got away with it, I, I'll never know, but... It, it was horrible, very, very stressful time in my life. Mm -hmm. But then you'd win, the result would, would take you to another high, but then a couple of weeks down the road, you would get another solicitor's letter, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. So when I finally beat him, I was in New York at the time in a training camp, getting ready to face Roberto Balanti in the WBC Eliminator. And I remember my friend coming in and him waking me up. I was in my bed in New York. We were all in a big apartment. And he comes in, he said, it's over. And I said, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I was like, just wait, he said, it's all over. He said, you've won. And I said, I, I don't know what you mean. And he said, yeah, look, he showed me an email on his phone and, and the Frank Warren case had been settled. He, he couldn't go any further in the case because mm -hmm. the evidence had stacked too much in my favour. Uh, and, and I remember just saying, thank you so much. He went out the room, I remember just sitting at the end of my bed crying to myself thinking, I, I've beat him. I'm now free. I can now pursue the dream, the things that I want to pursue. Uh, the stress level was unbelievable. Because you got to remember, I say, I lose. He beats me in court. I'm back on the street, literally on the street. Because I'm not boxing no more. I'm going out to earn money the way, whichever way I can possibly mm -hmm. earn it. And I say, when you leave school with no qualifications, you've got to do what you've got to do. As I said before, I've done things I'm not proud of, but I don't give a fuck. I've done things to provide for the family that I've got. My kids don't ask to be born. I put them on the planet. So whichever way I've got to provide, I will provide. Uh, and that's the, the stress and the pressure I had on my mind. So uh, winning that then was like winning a world title, basically? Oh, it was great. It was boss, mate. Mm -hmm.